welcome to the channel. I'm Krishna Perkins, a realtor here in Northeast San Antonio. Today we're heading into San Antonio suburban Selma, Texas to preview some homes in Forest Creek neighborhood. So stick around and I'll show you what the neighborhood has to offer. Your tour starts right now. Okay, first I want to cover some quick points on Forest Creek as we get started and give you my final thoughts about Forest Creek neighborhood towards the end. So stick around. If you're completely unfamiliar with the city of Selma and what's around it, you may enjoy my other video on the city of Selma. It gives a nice rundown and lists some of the pros and cons as experienced by some of my past clients. And of course, if you or someone you know is planning to move to the area, you can reach me at 210-260-6617. I'd be happy to help you. Okay, getting right into it. Forest Creek neighborhood was built by Continental Homes, which is now known as DR Horton. Um, construction for this particular residential community began in the year 2000 and concluded in 2003. The housing development consists of 344 homes with varying sizes that range from 1,295 square feet to 2,345 square feet. As for the school district, it belongs to Judson ISD. Uh, the designated elementary is Olympia, while the middle school is Kitty Hawk, and the high schools are both Judson Red Campus and Veterans Memorial. Forest Creek does have an HOA. Um, whose fee is around $150 per year. Some of the neighborhood amenities include a basketball court, barbecue grills, a splash pad, walking trails, and bike trails. The streets in this neighborhood uh, felt pretty spacious. Uh, I didn't feel at uh, any time at all like I was uh, you know, wanting any more space driving down this road, uh, even with the recycling being uh, put out to the curb uh, on this day. Um, as you can see, all these homes um, have about uh, three quarters brick in the front and the rest of it is siding. Um, so this is uh, an entry level type neighborhood. Uh, it looks pretty balanced as far as um, single story homes versus two story homes in the neighborhood here. And, uh, you know, from what I could tell, everyone is uh, keeping their homes pretty well kept uh, in the neighborhood, um, you, know, you know, considering it is an entry level neighborhood. As a bonus feature of the neighborhood, um, aside from the other park and playground, which we'll see here in a few minutes, um, the John S. Harrison Homestead, which has been uh, restored as of 2016 um, with an added uh, pavilion there on our left-hand side and uh, park and it also has four buildings, historic buildings that were built in the 1850s by John S. Harrison and his wife, Martha Jane Harrison. Um, you know, you can see here we have all the old farm equipment we'll, and I'll take a walk around here in a few minutes, but um, all this has been restored uh, to, to its original use and uh, is quite the, uh, you know, historic uh, scene um, to, to enjoy for anyone. You know, they have walking trails here um, to our left, uh, which you can't see is uh, the Cibolo Creek. Um, so there is a, a walkway, uh, a nature trail that goes uh, along the creek and up to the other park. So both parks are connected uh, via a, a walking trail. Um, it's handicapped 
uh, accessible as well. Um, so this is uh, a really nice uh, little feature in the neighborhood um, that is uh, really unique. So it, it really stands apart here uh, from the other couple of neighborhoods that we've gone through in uh, Selma um, where there wasn't a, a park or very little park area. And all of a sudden there's quite a bit going on in this neighborhood. Well, guys, that was a, a treat right there. Um, I stayed in there for a while and I, I had quite a bit more video there, but I didn't want to keep going on with it. Um, but um, long story short, um, this is a German slash Polish uh, you know, settlement uh, at Selma, uh, much like uh, many of the other settlements here in this area. Uh, but uh, you can see um, the restored um, look of some of these uh, settlements there. And so uh, if you live in this neighborhood, you instantly have something to show your friends, family, uh, and, a, and really a nice place, nice country place to walk and um, enjoy nature. There is a nice uh, creek down there, Cibolo Creek. Um, I've tried fishing down there a few times. Um, it, it, looks, uh, it looks pretty good right now. Uh, might need to try it out again. But um, there is one more historic site uh, towards the end of this video I'm going to show you. Um, you know, so far this is probably uh, one of the more interesting uh, neighborhoods uh, available in Selma to live in. Um, it's pretty quiet um, and um, pretty clean looking neighborhood. So uh, definitely something to consider. And uh, I'll show you that next historic site here in a moment.
Okay, we are approaching um, the other playground area. Uh, we can see uh, some playground equipment here on the right hand side. I am not going to stop uh, on this one because uh, there's a lot of people using the park right now. Uh, but you have your basketball court here uh, to the right here. This is called Stage Stop. Um, this is um, a continuation of the other park um, that uh, we were in earlier. Um, you, see, you can see here there's a splash pad on the right hand side coming up and they are packed today at the splash pad uh, on our right hand side as you can see there's also a soccer field right there um, and uh, in a moment I'm going to get out and show you the original post office the John S. Harrison um, post uh, post office here in stage stop um, the visitor center you can see coming up on our right hand side uh, Selma visit visitor center uh, but the stage stop again this was uh, something that was um, um, restored uh, back in 2016 um, so it is a historic site so well worth uh, you know uh, the visit just uh, for that Hey y'all, I hope you enjoyed the tour of Forest Creek. You can view today's inventory in the link description of the video. Otherwise, until next time, have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.